Come on. Your crew, thank you for choosing to fly with Jetsar. It's been our pleasure having you on board. channel my name is Wendy and I'm catching you up on the last I want to say two weeks but it could be two and a half of all the different things that have been happening in my world the last time I saw you I actually got sick it was kind of went up and down some days I was fine and some days I wasn't <laughs> you're sick don't get me sick so I'm not doing very well today but um the tight of my chest gets the happier I am that I didn't visit Cora Getting the sun on your eyeballs during the winter time helps depression. Just doing a short walk. I'm not going to walk in the shade. It's way too cold. Come on! <laughs> so I did my best to look after myself and then we went to Auckland. And really it was a bit of a miracle. I came right the Thursday before we left on the Friday and it was... I still had a kind of runny nose and I still had a slight tickle in my throat but I didn't feel like I was going to be passing anything on to anyone. So wore the face masks on the planes which is compulsory but I just made sure I had hand sanitizer. was trying not to touch anything, was trying not to cough things just to make other people around me comfortable. So our trip to Auckland was really great. We had a good time with my mum and my sisters and sister-in-law. And we ended up looking for wedding dresses for my sister who's getting married in November, which is pretty exciting. And Emma had a blast looking at all the different things. We actually all did. It's such a special time to be getting married. A cool process to watch her go through and she's going to be magnificent and she's going to have a really beautiful day, I'm sure. But it was really nice to be a part of it for a little bit with her. Yes, we took it easy. We had a nice time hanging out. We ate out a lot. There's just no way around it. When you're away from home, you eat out a lot. And so we did. My mum turned 70 last year and she keeps up with us just great. She is fitter than me, I reckon. And she looked after us and we all just had a really nice time hanging out. We went to the Lion King that night, which was super fun. I can't show you any footage because they really didn't like anyone taking photos or videos of anything that they were doing, but I really did enjoy it. And that was the same weekend that Regan came home from down south and had been away for I think five or six days and torrential flooding hit the top of the South Island. And so where he was in the Nelson Lakes, they couldn't actually get back to the ferry. So the roads were blocked significantly for about 24, 48 hours. The leaders of the tour were saying, look, if you can fly them out of here, that'd be really helpful because then we don't have to worry about them anymore. He came into Parapara Umu Sunday night about six o'clock. And that was about when we were heading home from flying back from Auckland. James was with us. He'd come down because we made a visit to baby. So he was able to help me pick Regan up and all the gear. We didn't pick up the other boys. They were all catching different flights and finding their own various different ways home. We got home, we all just kind of relax for a few days. So I got busy tidying my desk. I did enjoy clearing some space. I love getting rid of all the rubbish from the semester. I hadn't had my head around it. There was no way I was going to do that while I was unwell when semester broke, but now I was ready to get rid of rubbish and get rid of all the things that I was no longer going to be using. So I got rid of a heap of stuff and that was a good feeling. I just loved being able to tidy up that workspace. <laughs>
because it's not ideally where it should be but the other rooms are being renovated i don't like studying in silence i kind of like that house noise or just white noise around me also in the lounge where it is the fire is there and so it's warmest so it just works for me to be working out there now for the winter i don't know what i'll do next winter but for now sitting out in this space is really good and i guess now is a good time to talk about where i'm at with this study and what i've been thinking about and how it has change for me over the last six months. The reality is is that life is a work in progress and you don't know something until you know. And what's that quote? I don't even know who says it. I'll put in a caption here. Do the best you can but when you know better, do better. And I just thought, yeah, that this, I know better now. I want desperately to be able to be available, to be present and to be mostly paying attention. And I think that's what the videos have been. It's been a way for me to pay attention to what's going on in our home and I've loved the idea of being able to tell a story and to be able to have these memories to look back on the hard and the fun and I just loved the idea of making those and when the study hit and it hit hard it was all flipped up on its head. I wasn't able to keep up what I felt was really important. You know, what I might have been able to sustain 20 years ago, I can't sustain the same. I've now got a grandchild that I want to make sure I've got time for. And so over this last few weeks of the study timetable, I removed two papers from my schedule. So I've just gone to half time, which means my degree is going to take me five years to do and not three. I kind of figure I would love to have a wonderful five years and enjoy my time rather than and then have a miserable three and just get through it. And so that's the call I'm making. And I have the privilege of being able to do that. A lot of people don't have that option. They need to get the study done because they need to get back out working. So I have this beautiful privilege of being able to just go to half time and still do those things that are a priority for me. And this is just how I'm navigating it moving forward. But here I am at my friend's house. She is a fellow student. She has been kind enough to let me stay here. We've become friends over this uh, training and she's a real gem and I appreciate her friendship. And we're into the semester, and it's all go. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate, as always, you spending time with me. But until next time, bye for now.